Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Dots and Beyond. I'm Beth. Today, we are going to do a plan with me for February 12th through the 18th. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by peeking back at last week because I did not do this plan with me with everything I've had going on with my spine neck condition. As you can see, I did do a plan with me for last week. I didn't necessarily use my rolling weekly, but I did put in some things. I had a good time last night with my cousin. We went to see the movie Argyle and went out to eat at a local restaurant. Tonight, the boys and I are going to Arkansas Symphony Orchestra that is doing a Bond concert. The one thing that I did do is I went rogue and put my weather at the bottom of the page instead of the top of the page. And I love it at the bottom of the page. So we're going to do that again. I did find out that my pink marker doesn't dry as quickly as I would necessarily like. Let's go ahead and flip over to this week and get to planning. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a monumental difference from last week or two weeks ago when I guess I last did a video close to the time. I did do a core values video, but that one was filmed a while ago. I am feeling much better and I am at that point where my physical therapist is like, don't overdo it. Don't get all happy dappy and think that because you've got range of movement in your neck again, like at one point I could not even look over my right shoulder, which was just fun when it came to driving. Driving was a terrible position. And he's like, don't do it. Don't get all happy and jump too far ahead. But I am definitely feeling much better. So last Friday for physical therapy, not just this, not the ninth, but the Friday before. He put my head in traction. So it was my head in this machine that then slowly pulls your head and neck farther away from your st And he says it works for some people and it doesn't work for some people. And I don't know if it was that or if it was something else that we've been doing as far as exercises and that sort of a thing, but that was like a miracle worker for me. Okay, let's see, where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put this, I am taking off Friday. Next weekend is my moving weekend, which is just, it's a lot. I am just hanging on to the coattails of February, waiting for it to end. I'm just letting it track me along, which is not necessarily the healthiest way to live one's life, but sometimes Life gets the best of you and you just have to hang on and, you know, make it to the end. And right now for me, it's like the end is maybe the end of February. I'm on the up and up now. My son's eye surgery will take place not this week, but the week after. I'm trying to figure out where I put this weather down here. One. And we'll all maybe be not quite as stressed out as we are right now. The move will be over. A lot of things will just hopefully start falling into place and I can resume some sort of normalcy. I don't know what normalcy really is. I don't. But this isn't it right now. I can tell you that. It's not working for me. For this washi tape, I don't know if you can see this. It's a pink washi tape with teeny tiny little arrows on it. It is the week of Valentine's. I'm not a Valentine's girly. Despite this wild pink setup that we've had for February. It's not my normal vibe. Okay, let's get this weather in here. Monday. It's supposed to rain. Ironically, today is Saturday, the what, 10th? And I have my air conditioner running because I just got way too hot today. Way too hot. Yeah, see, it smudges. It comes through just a little bit. I think the boys were a little warm as well. And of course, in Arkansas, in winter and in, say, summer, well, definitely in summer, we just have so much humidity. So while it wasn't necessarily hot outside, it was in the 60s, my apartment was just feeling super stuffy. And this is one of those apartments where the windows are now painted shut. <laughs> you can't open them. I can open my kitchen window. That's about it. I can't open the doors because then my cats will get out. I'm having a harder time with this than I did even last week. Look at that. Maybe I'm just going too quickly. I could switch pens. I do have a pink Pigma Micron. Oh, I may not do this again with this pen. We're gonna push through it on this week, but we may not do it again. Adding to my Beth luck of late is the fact that I'm supposed to move Friday and Saturday and rain. <laughs> I mean, do we expect anything less at this point? I also knew moving in February was going to be tricky at best, but there we go. Yeah, it's all kind of messy. 
I'm not too worried about. I know what it means. All right, let's get temperatures in. It's raining today a little bit. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. The temperatures are going to drop just a little bit for Monday, and then they're going to creep back up into the 50s and 60s, which is where I like my Arkansas winters to stay. I've talked about it a lot on this channel, how I do not like cold weather. So no surprise that I would much rather it be in the 60s as far as highs are concerned than no on the ground and ice or any of those things that I absolutely hate. Yeah, this is a mess. It's okay. Sometimes things are a mess. It's par for the course right now, actually, with how my life is going. It's okay. We just rise. Nevertheless, she persisted. Am I right? Okay, so there we go. Weather in. Definitely still like it at the bottom of the page. We'll probably do it with my pen next week and not, you know, the ohuhu that is not drying quick enough on the Tomo River paper. Which is a discovery, but it's a good discovery, and now we know it. All right, and then I always put the little blurb for the weekly horoscope from my CoStar app. It's more of a centering sort of focus than it is an I fully believe in astrology focus. I think parts of it have some merit. I don't necessarily believe in horoscopes. There's always some good advice that comes out of that thing. That's what I am going to leave at the top. Let's put in what I have going in regards to work. So these are my working hours this week, just in between this washi tape. I am going to put in some meetings. Thursday, I have an event that's going to take me outside of both of these hours. All right, guys, I put these meetings on the wrong day, which means we're going to slap a sticker over it. And we might still be able to see through it somewhat. Back here in the back, I have all of my remnants of my February planner kit. I've just cut them down to size and we are going to find one of these and slap it over top of that mistake. And if I have some other meetings or things that need to go there, we'll figure it out later on in the week. I have a very quiet day on Tuesday, so hopefully it stays that way and I don't have to write over this. But if I do, we will just slap another sticker over it right on top of that one. Let's mostly cover it up. That's all that matters. This whole time frame is event prep for the next day. That's when I will be meeting the furniture company that we've rented the furniture from and the linens will be delivered and all of that sort of stuff is happening that morning. Then I have some other things that afternoon that I need to do. Somebody else is coming to drop some things off for the event here. And then this is a standing monthly meeting that I have that I need to find the time to go to. It was something that we committed to all being a part of on every day. This is event day. I will be at the event probably by 630. So I'm just going to draw a line and put prep because I'll meet the caterer and all of that sort of thing. This is my event, and then I should be out of there by 6.30. So we're looking at a 12-hour day. All right, so we've got prep, and we've got recover, and then our event time period. On Friday, I'm off work. I've asked off work for the sake of moving, but at 8 a.m., I have PT. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put that in there. At 11 a.m., I have an appointment with my psychiatrist. Again, I live with bipolar disorder, so I go to see him pretty regularly. And then from 12 to 2 is my window for AT&T to come switch the internet from one apartment to the other. You know, you always, at least it's only a two-hour window. At least it's not like a four-hour window. I realize this is very tight. One of my boys will be here if said technician shows up at noon, but I like to be here to ask questions. This is where we are on this day. Here, we are going to put moot. I'm going to put that to like 7 p.m. And this is a move day. This should be the clean the apartment that I'm moving out of and unpack day. Now, this could get affected by the weather because it's not supposed to rain at all on the 18th. On Friday, it's supposed to rain a little bit in the afternoon. It's supposed to rain a little bit in the morning on Sunday. When I looked at this two days ago, there wasn't any rain in the forecast. The weather here is highly unpredictable and perhaps it will change completely by the time we get to the weekend. Hopefully it'll change in my favor, right? We want it to rain less on moving weekend. Although I have to say, when I first moved to Little Rock, I moved from a small town up to Little Rock in July. I paid for movers for that particular 
move because it was unbearably hot. It was like 105 degrees the day we moved. I just kept giving them water and tipping them extra. All of those sorts of things because it was a horrible, horrible, horrible day to ask somebody to move you. Even if they were getting paid for it, it was just the most insufferable moving conditions imaginable. I'm thinking about doing a empty apartment tour on my Patreon as a Patreon exclusive video. If I don't do the whole tour, I'm definitely going to do like my workspace. So I'll take some footage of my workspace as it is now in the corner of my bedroom. And then we will take some footage when I get moved into this different apartment where I will have my own office space and I can have this all set up. That will probably be a Patreon exclusive. I don't show my life. I'm not a vlogger. I do overshare to an extent, obviously, because I'm putting all of this on the internet, but it's not like a full-blown, here's my life vlogging situation. I do want to put my lunch breaks in here. This day, lunch is happening at the event. Otherwise, I don't have any meetings that have been scheduled on my 12 o'clock hour, so I'm going to go ahead and keep those blocked on my work calendar so nobody can block over them and protect it here as well. And we're just going with the arrows. I'm not writing lunch in every single one of these spots. I have gotten way, way off schedule with my dinner plans and ordering for dinner. The last Walmart order that I did, quite literally, I went through my items I had ordered before. I just ordered a bunch of food and I was like, some of this might make meals. Not really flying by the seat of our pants when it comes to meals as well. But I have been trying to, I wrote some of them in. I need to come back in and backfill what we've done for dinner. I also copped out on Monday. I was um, feeling it and I was supposed to make chicken fettuccine and I didn't and we just ordered pizza. And the next day we went to a restaurant called Chewy's. <laughs> I have copped out on the cooking for sure in the midst of all of this stress. Whatever we do eat, I want to go ahead and write it in here. I will be, again, coming from that event fairly late in the afternoon. I'll probably pick something up. And then we all know how it's like when you're moving. Everybody eats fast food, I think, when they're moving. I don't think anybody actually tries to cook in their kitchen until they get moved. So I'm not even going to put dinners on here because I'm smarter than that. Hang on. I just remembered. This is how scatterbrained I am right now. I have a Galentine's on Wednesday. Me and a couple of friends were making plans for dinner last week and we were like, oh, how about next Wednesday? Next Wednesday is great. Everybody said next Wednesday is great. And then somebody piped up and said, do you know that's Valentine's Day? <laughs> I was like, they were like, do you still want to do it? Well, I don't believe in Valentine's Day. I'm still in if anybody else is still in. And everybody was still in. So apparently we're having a Galentine's. It was unintended. It was not planned. It was just planned to be a dinner. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this now because this is probably now going to run till here. I'm just, I'll just put it in this space. Galentine's. We're going to have a Galentine's on Wednesday. I'm probably going to end up with some orders and things. Let's be real in this move. There might be a lot of trips to Walmart. There might be some Amazon orders. We're going to create a shopping list that's specific to the move. So moving shopping list. Best way to do that. I've already purchased shelf and drawer liner for the new apartment. Obviously, some other things are going to come up that we need to purchase as well. It always does. That's just the way that it happens. Pretty much this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is kind of fine. And then Thursday is consumed by an all-day event. And I'll be exhausted by the time I get home. And then I have to move. Now, the good thing is that here in the U.S., this Monday is also a holiday. So I have a holiday here. I'm off on the 20th because of my son's surgery. Then I have another massive event with a lot of elected officials on Wednesday the 21st. But I do have the holiday to help with the unpacking and the doing of all of those sorts of things. All right, let's get some decoration on this page. Okay, I think that is it for the weekly. I did add in one of our quotes from 10,000 Doors of January for this week, just because Valentine's. That says, true love is not stagnant, it is in fact a door through which all kinds of miraculous and dangerous things may enter. I also added in a little spot for my son's schedule for the week, just 
some stickers here and there to liven it up. Of course, I'll do some writing in here that'll get filled in once I have that weekly horoscope, which comes in email on Sundays. Other than that, we're focusing on moving for the week. The next thing we need to do is my 52 lists project for this week. And because I didn't do a plan with me last week, we didn't look back at list five, which was list what you would like your life to look like in 10 years. Of course, I jokingly said that that's harder to do the older you get. Not necessarily a joke. I think it really is. I put more financial stability, owning a condo. That's on my goal setting video. If you ever wanted to go back and watch that. Traveling every year, a healthier lifestyle a clear outlook for what retirement will eventually look like for me, possibly calling myself an author, living a little more clutter-free, possibly having a partner, and that's where I stopped on that one. Last week was list six, which we didn't do a plan with me, so I set this up on my own, was list the ways you love to have fun. I have patroning the arts, live music, dinner with friends, just listening to music, hanging out in nature, game nights, movie nights, travel those sorts of things. Every now and then I come in and I add something to this. We need to go ahead and get set up for list seven for this week. And we are gonna jump to this page to do that. And this is one of those things that I have not been looking ahead. I haven't been peeking to see what list seven is. We're just gonna crack open the book and go to list seven and see what it says. Here is the 52 lists project book. Here is list six, the ways to have fun. They left plenty of room for that one. They always have some sort of action plan. So plan to integrate something fun into every day this week. We can all settle into routines very easily. So why not break the routine of boredom and start a routine of fun? I'm very guilty of just doing the same thing day in, day out. So I definitely needed that reminder. List seven, list all the people who brighten your day. Take action says write a sweet note to or do something thoughtful for one or some of these people who make your life easier, lighter, and happier. So we're gonna go ahead and write that in. List all the people who brighten your day. All right, that was kind of messy, but that is okay. Other thing I'm gonna do is my circle of people who make my life brighter is not very large. I don't think I need a whole lot of space on here to do this. I'm gonna segment this. It is purposefully not going to be a long list. This is an even dozen. I'm gonna put some more in here just in case I wanna flush out some of those individuals that might be on the periphery of my circle. Maybe in doing that, I'll decide that those people on the periphery of my circle maybe need to move into my circle if they do bring that sort of light into my life. And then I'm gonna guess stick some florals over here. Okay, and we are set up for list seven, listing all the people who brighten your day. We may come back and show you this list. This list might also be super private. So if I do come back and show it to you, I'll probably have some post-it notes over some names because I don't need to be throwing people's names out onto the internet without their permission. There is our list seven for week seven of 2024, as well as our setup for the week. And we are ready to go. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a pink heart emoji for Valentine's Day down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next one.